Hello again, welcome back to the channel. My name's Al Lad for Set Play Gaming. This is the FC24 Colchester United Career Mode with Owen Coyle Season 2, Episode 29. Before we get into today's episode, some loan news here. Jaden February has agreed a loan move to Sutton United until the end of the season. Obviously, he's not going to join up until January, but from January until the end of the season, he's going to be with Sutton United. Now, in today's games, we're going to be finishing off November's schedule. We have MK Dons at home, Gillingham away on the 26th. We'll have to, unfortunately, play rotation in that one, because on the Friday, we've got the home game against Salford City in the FA Cup. Let's see how we get on today. Here we go, taking on MK Dons in game one of today's episode. And they are in the top six. So they'll be looking to claw back ground on us in this all important league fixture. Obviously, we're going well this season. We're looking for an automatic playoff spot as well. So the battle is going to be on between now and the end of the season. And jumping into the highlights here, Alex Gilby, we'll know of him from last year. Uh, Leon wins the ball back, Devoy rides the challenge, Mingi goes down, Leko into Isa, goes for a curling shot, goes over the crossbar, Amos not called into action there, and then into 22 minutes of the game, Chilvers pulling the strings from midfield, lifts it up, flicked on by Ionvian, and then Edwards forces a shot, and saved, pushed away there by... McGilvery in goal. A few moments later, Isa interchanges passes back to Leko. Leko into Gilby, gets past Hall, and Hall is sent off. I'm not entirely sure whether that was a sending off offence, but the game says that he was last man. I had the two fullbacks closing in, I'm not entirely sure that should have been a sending off. But needless to say, that puts us right in the hole. And we have to make a bit of a sacrifice here. Jay Mingi having to be subbed early to bring on an extra defender. He just can't simply play with one centre-back. That's ridiculous. Um, so, not through any fault of his own. It's not like Mingi did anything wrong. Uh, but just a tactical substitution, really, to shore up the defence. Shot here from Leko as Greenidge slides in to prevent the shot and they win a free kick just on the stroke of half time they're going to take this and it's going to be Isa lining it up Harvey's over the ball as well Isa avoids it Harvey lays it off Devoy blocked and then it falls to the centre back who tries to force it in It's a good save by Amos. Into the second half. We're holding our own so far. And McGeegan gets caught on the ball. And they almost capitalise. He just wanted to control that on the edge of his leg. And then ends up getting the ball stripped from him inside the box. Great control here by Jay. Into Chilvers. Does really well to hold on to it. Ionvian back to McGeegan. Edwards. Nice little bit of skill here. 20 minutes left. Edwards gets away from two men. Skips away from Norman, but the cross deflected. He can't find Ionvian in the box. 76 minutes. Into Good Johnson. Good Johnson looking for the shot. In slides the Andola. Wins the ball. Gilby smashes one into the top corner. That is a fantastic strike by Alex Gilby, we know about this guy's long range shooting as you would have attested to you would have seen our career mode last year we started at Stevenage and he was on loan at the time to Stevenage he became a focal point of our midfield and Owen Coyle there knows that the shot should have been closed down and it's been a valiant effort, Greenwich here winning the ball and then they High press, good Johnson shot near post, saved by Amos. A lot of this, you know, valiant defending just to try and earn a point here. I think the boys have done tremendously well considering Connor Hall was sent off in this game. And um, 
Ohora there, congratulating his teammates. I don't think we could have done that much else really in that situation and circumstances just get away from us here as we go down 1-0 to MK Dons in this game. And you can see the follow-up article here shows frustrated Hall sees red in Colchester United defeat and as MK Dons have clawed background on Colchester in the league it's all change at the top six and of course another article here sub J Mingi loses it and you'll remember seeing in the highlights there that it was literally just a sacrifice substitution we needed to keep McGeehan on we needed to keep the other players on and it was just a tactical substitution so hopefully that doesn't affect his morale long term all right as we head here into game number two taking on Gillingham and this is the midweek game as I mentioned at the top of the show we are going to be fielding a rotation side despite Gillingham being in the top three um, and that's simply because we've got the Friday match against Salford City in the FA Cup so it is unfortunate but it's a chance for those rotation players to stake a claim in future lineups against Owen Coyle's better judgment and of course, once we've finished this game, we'll take a look at the league table to keep abreast of all the changes in the top six and top eight of League Two. And the opening few minutes, Nichols through to Duarte, and Duarte is shot, pushed away by Smith at the near post. And then seven minutes in, they win a corner, and it's Jeffries who swings this in. Initial header from Hopper, and Nichols here turns on the sixpence and slams it home. I don't know what it is about players of the past coming back to haunt us, but it's certainly the case this episode. Gilby scored last episode, and now Tom Nichols, a former Stevenage striker in the last career mode, scores against us. I'm pretty sure um, McLaughlin there on the line, moving away from the ball. I'm not sure why. Um, and then 15 minutes in, Matt J dilly-dallying on the ball, has it stripped from him by Coleman, who surges into the box. Then he's pulled back here. I kind of knew that that was going to happen. Greenwood kind of trips over his own defender, and then Smith makes a pig's ear of it. We eventually get it clear. 27 minutes in, ball played forward. Jeffries, MacArthur... And it's a low cross, deflected, and Tom Nichols front post looking to make it two. Jeffrey's corner from that resulting play, headed in by Tom Nichols. He does get his brace. He is not going to be denied today. And this is a terrible start for the rotation players. We knew this was going to be a difficult game. Even with our first 11, it would be a difficult game. But... 2-0 down now, inside half an hour, we badly need a response. And we do get a response here from the players. Pressing here from Kyle Taylor, nice pass into Mella. Mella holds off Masterson, gets into the box with some nice dribbling. His shot pushed away by Calderon. And then more pressure again by the midfield. Matt J into Mella, and look at the skill from Mella, goes past one. Gets into the box. Nice chop. Cuts back. Goes for the shot, but ends up putting it over. And he slides onto the floor, holding his hands. Holding his head. And he can't believe that he's missed the opportunity there. Shields, good control. Into stoppage time of the first half. Jay into Mella. Now here's the chance. Drops the shoulder at Aimer, goes past Alexander and smashes it into the far corner. It is 2-1. And it is a nice response from Dumani Miller. <clears throat> Easily looked our most dangerous player of this first half. Which isn't really a lot to be said considering how poor we were defensively. Into the second half action here. 2-1 down. MacArthur ends up winning this after a poor pass from Greenwood. And then his cross into Nichols, front post, and he smashes it in. Smith here, I think, would like to have this one back, unfortunately. As poor as the marking was to allow him this shot here, once MacArthur got past Allison, Greenwich had to close that down. He doesn't, but then this shot from this angle 
The goalkeeper has to be doing better there at the front post. So 3-1 down and Nichols, our former striker, has a hat-trick. 68 minutes in, Matt Jay has won the ball. Jay looking for the cross. Headed, deflected, Shields looking to turn. But Max Clark seals him out and gets it clear. A few minutes later, back the ball comes. And Taylor into Greenwood looking for the cross. It's blocked. He's going to go again. And Mella gets up and flicks it. Great control from Hopper. And Hopper turns it in to make it 3-2. It is now officially a game. Can we make something more of this? This is a valiant fight back. We've been very poor defensively. It's certainly told that Zarin's and Hall have not been present in this game. Shields into Greenwood again on this left side. Crossed in, flicked on by Hopper. Chance for Cooper, but he screws his shot well wide. Hopper with the hold up play here. Into stoppage time almost. Cooper down the right. To the back post, Ionvian and Jose Calderon makes a fantastic save at that back stick. Preserving Gilligan's 3-2 lead. That is a great save from the goalkeeper. And we are not able to rescue this. We go down three goals to two here on away soil. And that is not a good result. That's two defeats on the trot now. Uh, to sides within the top six we'll now go and have a look at the league table and see how things look for us so before we do the FA Cup match I promised we'd look at the league table as you can see Gillingham with that win over us are now top Crew and Grimsby make up the automatic promotion places in second and third and then in fourth MK Dons they're just ahead of us on 35 points we are fifth with nine wins from 19 and then Notts County, Port Vale and Forest Green make up the top eight. Into mid table, Wrexham, Doncaster, Walsall and Accrington and then the other four, Barrow, Harrogate, Tranmere and Morecambe. That is the mid table stance as of right now. Into the bottom half of the table, Cheltenham and our old club Stevenage in 17th and 18th, Swindon, Carlisle, Newport and Mansfield and then Sutton United and Crawley make up the final standings there into the final game of the episode. Here we go, third match of the episode, taking on Salford City in round two of the Emirates FA Cup. A quick notable change there, February on the left, but it is a very strong side named by Owen Coyle. And make no mistake about it, Salford could pose a threat. 15 minutes in, Chilvers slides it through to February, and February makes himself known to the Colchester faithful. Don't forget about me, he says. I've been out a long time injured, but I am back, baby, I'm back. Having just agreed that move to Sutton United, this is a nice little reminder. Out slides Cunha, and he just slides it past him. Nice little dink past him here, you'll see it. Lovely finish from February. And um, that gives us a 1-0 lead. Look at Owen Coyle, he's like, well, there's some vindication there for playing him, for selecting him in this game. And Salford City, as I said, would pose a threat. McElhaney down this left-hand side. A few moments later, Garbutt into Morton, Morton into Lund. Lund, chance, Bolton, great tackle from Dallison there at the back. Uh, sorry, Hall. Hall's playing today, isn't he? And then Salford again, 25 minutes in. Garbutt gets down this left, looking for the cross. Pulls it back, McElhaney into Garbutt. Garbutt, no, the pullback's coming, but he goes to the shot. Zarin saves, and then the ball comes back to Morton. Shot saved by Amos. 29 minutes in. Yandolo through to Fevrier. Fevrier, and now into Tovide, goes to the power shot. Good save by Cunha at the near post. And then Zarin's here, 32 minutes. Mingis spins away from Asama Ashley. Rides a challenge from Lund into McGeehan. McGeehan into Yandolo. Spots the run of Chilvers. That's a fantastic ball. Chilvers through. Cunha with the save. And Garbutt can get this away. Till brings it under control. 
into five minutes to go till half time. McGeehan into Childers. Rides the challenge, sits up nicely for Tovide. Ne neglects the shot. Then it's pulled back by Childers and February almost getting second. Another great stop from Cunha. Into stoppage time. It's going to come to McGeehan. McGeehan across to Mingi. He's going to go for the long ranger. Whoa! That was a fantastic effort from Jaden Mingi. And as we go into the second half, looking for more control, looking for more opportunities. Of course, never safe, especially against Salford City, because they're a good side. Tolvide here, 68 minutes, using his power, but just not able to get his shot on target. And that would be the last action we'd see of him. February also gets um, substituted as Ionvian and Thomas come on for the final 20 minutes. Mingi into Edwards, Edwards into Ionvian. Ionvian, similar sort of scenario where he uses his strength, turns, it's on his left, and he goes for a power shot, but it's off target as he drags that shot wide. 79 minutes, high press in there. Chilvers into Thomas, Thomas into Ionvian. Doesn't win the first, but uses his strength, tries to just place it into the corner, and it's a great save by Cunha. All these saves by the goalkeeper just to try and keep Salford in it. They're trying to get themselves back into it, but they run out of time. And, you know, I'm sure the home fans and I'm sure everyone would have expected us here to score more what, than one goal. But as I said from the outset, the main thing here is that we win and we get through to the next round. And we've done that. Um, and we've done it without getting any injuries. I'm happy with the win. Thanks for watching today. And if you want to continue to support me on the channel, you can by watching anything from the playlist available at the end of this video. And if you can't get enough of the action, you can also subscribe. That way you get to keep up to date with all the latest videos that I have coming out. I should be back in a couple of days where we'll take on December's schedule. But for now, this is our lad for Set Play Gaming. See you guys very soon.